for those that do not know me um i'm switching gears into some new things that have been coming to the surface for me around entrepreneurship and um, the spiritual journey and for me starting this business of a ray of gratitude has really been the base core foundation of um merging my creative journey right which goes hand in hand to my entrepreneurship journey right um it also intertwined with my spiritual journey and all these journeys right the healing journey um the wellness journey there's so many journeys right that wind up intertwining into a braid or a rope right and this rope allowed me to grab on to something and find something more practical and have a more um, foundational, sturdy um, level, right? Or foundation, I might say, to really start um, serving other people. Um, I'm not discrediting anything that I have been doing on my page um, or other social medias, but right now in this time, especially for me this year of 2022, I have felt like I've cemented um, the foundation, right? Or not even cemented, but more so um, started watering a lot more seeds, right? And uh, toiling, um, what is the word, uh, the, the ground, right? Cultivating, I don't know the technical term when you're gardening, right? But you're turning the, the soil, you know, um, for the seeds to get more nourishment. Or possibly, you know, reroute some things. And that's what I've been doing. And I've learned a lot about myself. And I really want to share that entrepreneurship is a spiritual journey. And I'm going to be talking more on bringing my expertise back on brand development. My expertise um, back with design, graphic design. These are the roots that have, um, these are the seeds that have been rooted um, since my teenage years, um, but have been sprouted from since childhood, my creative energy that I've always had. You know, my mother always had me and my siblings just tapping into different things and exploring a lot of creative um, things, you know, just to open us up and, and have that creativity, knowing that Creativity is what sparks um, the soul, right? But many people don't have that. And not to say that I didn't have turmoil or anything else in my family, because that same medicine that my mom showed me at a young age turned into poison with growing up out of, you know, listening to my parents' fears or, or hurts and blockage of not being good enough for to be an artist as a profession, you know, not being able to have their own business because it's too much to handle, especially as a mother, you know, so many other things of not having and being in lack um, was embedded in me as well. So I had to work through these things. And I'm not the only person that has to do that. I feel that a lot of people have to do that, especially on an entrepreneurial um, journey, especially on a solopreneur journey, you know, and especially on a spiritual journey that is connected to entrepreneurship. If you have a service that speaks to your soul mission, your soul purposes, because we don't just have one, we have many, right? If you're tapping into at least one soul purpose, if not more, I'm, I'm sure you're coming to a point in time where it's like, how do I make all this make sense? Um, I understand what I want to do or I've cultivated, you know, you may have something of a brand already. You may have a logo. You may have a website. You may have these um, tools or these things that 
are components to an actual business, right? But how do I really um, express this authentically, right? When we're up against, um, I want to say the rage of the machine, but like we're up against all these people um, that we see in social media. And it's hard for us not to feel um, comparison or, or not to feel that imposter syndrome, right? It, it's hard at times, right? Because we, we're looking for certain things, but then it's like we can turn on our own light, right? As easier said than done. But how do we actually ground in and, and really stay focused and true to ourselves as we walk and express and promote our business? And when it comes to promoting, I've heard a lot of people, especially in the wellness industry, especially as speaking to healers, right? How do I do the techie stuff? How do I manage my business? How do I use these tools to promote my business in a way that I can make it feel easier instead of feeling like a burden? I wanted to share with you something that I like to um create with clients called a creative spark and it really focuses on creating mandalas it really focuses on healing your energy as well you know adding reiki that energy healing to the creativity that's something that i've always loved to do um highlighting chakras with your creativity because it's something that's near and dear to me that i need to start talking about more but i don't see that much people talking about right so I'm talking about it now. And for those that aren't familiar with mandalas, right? They are creative expressions of spirit or a visual flowering image to fill the heart space with compassion and patience. Now that's my definition, but um, if you go online, they'll talk about um, this geometric figures that's been used in Hindu and Buddhist faith, as well as other indigenous traditions. Let's not forget about them. And um, it's really used to, um, of course, expand their creativity but it's used to connect with spirit it's used to really focus on spirit and really open themselves up to um their intuition it strengthens their intuition and me loving words um you know one of my love languages is actually words of affirmation i love to bring in those affirmations to um just see the words and really feel the words so i can actually embody and um see it more so I can manifest it, right? So um, I wanted to share that with you because I know a lot of people are probably looking like, hmm, what is she creating? I'm creating one of my mandalas. This is one of my self-care or soul care practices that I like to do when I'm feeling kind of in a rut or feeling a little bit confused or self-doubt with my creativity. So I just wanted to drop in and say those things, um, you know, um, Going from a graphic designer of helping people with social media, helping people with logos and um, other um, marketing promotionals um, that tie into brand development, um, always helping those people, right? And really, really, really spending time on helping myself um, it's hard, but I'm human because I'm sure that everyone that is watching this can sit here and say, there is some skill that you have that is so easy to give to others, but not to yourself. And that's something that I love to help people see within them, highlight within them and give that en energy to that so they can really find that true value and walk with their head high knowing, right? And trusting that this is valuable and this is how I'm going to utilize that energy towards my business to serve others. So this is just some words from the heart that I wanted to speak and talk to you about and, um, you know, not worrying about the numbers. Sometimes the best thing for you to be is that secret sauce, <laughs> the best known secret, right? Like sometimes that's good. It really depends who you are, what your energetics are. It just really depends. Um, but 
you won't really know that until you really look in and connect with spirit first and foremost and then align things with that soul mission and those soul purposes that you're here to utilize your God-given talent and share with the world. So if you've been tired of trying to make your business work for everybody else except yourself, um, definitely subscribe if you're feeling the vibe. Um, because I'm going to be talking more about branding the business, healing your business. So in turn, you can really truly embody your, your healing journey into this um, entrepreneurship, this lifestyle that you're creating for yourself and expressing it with ease as well as reaching and attracting clients um, that see your value as well, right? Because that's what you want to do. You don't want to be out here running after people and trying to be heard and trying to be seen and feeling like, oh, and, you know, um, diminishing your self-esteem or confidence when you don't need to, you know, especially if you've gotten so far within your business. Now it's time to um, bring the practicality in as well as utilize your intuition and make that unison um, make that wholeness and have that balance between the two so you can actually have more ease um, within your business, within the way you move, um, your, you know, within your business, right? <laughs> All right, I'm getting off right now. Um, definitely, if you're feeling what's going on, you know, um, let me know in the comments what have you been actually going through um, this past year or these past um, six months, I want to say, because those that are like, I'm, I'm talking to my healers, my astrologists, my tarot cards, my herbalists, my, um, yoga teachers, my Reiki masters, um, what other wellness practitioners, you know, that that's who I'm speaking to. Um, and I know it's been rough because, <laughs> When I say my astrologers, you know, right now as I'm recording this, it's six planets in retrograde. That means there's a lot of things that we are um, uncovering, recovering, and slowing down to really shine light on and understand the best way, you know, of working smarter, not harder. So I'm looking forward to sharing some more stuff on brand development, um, on connecting your spiritual journey with your entrepreneurship and really um, sharing some more business experiences that you really can't get in school. You have to experience it. <laughs> um, so yeah, if you're feeling the vibe, please subscribe, like, share with anyone um, and look out for more. Look out for more. Until next time, y'all. I'm outie. Peace.